Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how to use system.io for beginners. Be sure to watch the entire video to gain a comprehensive understanding. Without further delay, let's get started. First, open the web browser on your PC. Here, search for system.io. So here you have landed on the official site of system.io. As you can see, it is an all-in-one marketing platform. Also, it is free forever and no credit card is needed. You can enter your email address here, then tap on Get My Free Account present right in the front of the email address bar. Scroll down and you can see a bunch of features provided by this platform. These include sending marketing emails, building websites, managing your affiliates, etc. From the top of the page, go to Pricing tab. Here you need to choose your billing plan. This can be monthly or annually. Also, there is 30% off for annual billing plans. The four plans here are free, startup, webinar, and unlimited. Now tap on Get My Free Account. Here you need to provide your email address. As you can see, email verification needs to be done. For this, I'm going to open a new tab. Open Gmail from there. Now open the particular email sent to you by system.io. Here, tap on Confirmation Link. In order to confirm an account, you need to create a password. So, set a new password. Then, re-enter your password and confirm new password. After this, prove your human identity. Here, click on the Verify button. Now you have landed on the home page of system.io. First tab here is Dashboard. Its menu contains Main Dashboard, Affiliate Dashboard, and Marketplace. Next tab is Contacts, which consists of Contacts and Tags. Next, there is the Funnel and then Emails tab. Clicking on Emails tab, you can see newsletters, campaigns, and statistics. After Blocks, there is the Automations tab. It has rules and workflows. After this, open the Products tab. So, the drop-down menu contains physical products, orders, coupons, courses, and communities. Then, there is Sales tab. It has transactions, subscriptions, affiliate invoices, and my affiliate program. After this, there are options for help, my profile, and language. So, in the dashboard, you can see new leads and sales. At the right side, you can see live updates. Above live updates, there is calendar. From the dashboard tab, open affiliate dashboard. Under total stats, you can see your affiliate ID. Next to it, total leads sent and lifetime earnings are present. Then there is an earnings snapshot. At the right, over here, you can set vendors and stats for it. Then, there is an affiliate link for promoting system.io. After this, go to the Stats by Vendor tab. The tabs over here are Vendor, Lifetime Earnings, Paid, and Pending. In the front row, there is a calendar. From there, tap on Marketplace. Here, you can see a lot of offers along with their descriptions. Now go to the Contacts tab. From the main menu, select Contacts. There you can filter contacts by email, first name, last name, country, etc. Next tab here is Save Filters. So click on Import Contacts. As you can see, a disclaimer of importing contacts over here. Next read How to Import Contacts into System.io. Then choose a file here. Going back to the previous page, tap on Create Contact. First, provide email. After this, mention first name and last name. 
Once you are done with this, provide a country, city and street address. Then you need to provide a phone number and postal code. Click on the save button. Now from the bottom, you can see the email address is invalid. So make sure you provide a valid email address here. Now from the contacts tab, open tags. Here at this page, you can search and filter tags. Tap on the create button. This is where you can create a new tab. So set a name for the tag. Then tap on the three dots present in front of your created tag. Go to edit tag. From here, you can edit this rack tag as needed. So, go to the Funnels tab. For the time being, it's empty. The tabs present here are Search, Active or Inactive Status, Filter and Create. Here, click on the Create button. From the window that opens, write name of your funnel first. Then select Funnel Goal, either it is to build an audience, sell, custom or run an evergreen webinar. Now select Currency here. Tap on the Save button. Here you can see the status of the funnel is active. So click on this funnel. The dialog box contains options for order form, thank you page and inactive page. The tabs present here are automation rules, A-B test, stat rules, deadline settings and leads. There explore, order pages, Thank you page and an active page one by one. From the thank you page, you can scroll down and explore lots of thank you pages. Now tap on inactive page. On the left side, there are options for elements, font, form, margins, padding, etc. In order to create a thank you page, tap on the add step button. After this, go to the Emails tab. Here select Newsletters. As for now, this list is empty. Now options here are Search, Filter and Create. Tap on Create button. From there, provide the subject of the newsletter. Then write down sender name. After this, provide sender email. So you need to choose between visual editor and classic editor. After choosing an editor, select template. Hit the save button. Then tap on campaigns. Now select create. Here provide the name of the campaign. Then provide its description. Save your selection. Tap on this newly created campaign over here. But here, as you can see, this is empty for the time being. Now click on the Create button again. From there, provide the subject of the campaign. Now select Statistics from the Emails tab. Here, stats include number of emails sent, average percentage of opened emails, average percentage of spam reports and average percentage of bounced emails. Next to it is the email section which consists of emails sent and a few other options. From the blocks tab, tap on create. Here as well, you need to choose a template. Then provide the URL in the bar here. For now, I'm going to close it. Next, go to Automations. Click on Rules. Once you tap on the Create button, a new window appears. Here, there are two columns, namely Triggers and Actions. Then, go to Workflow. Tap on the Create button. Name this workflow here. Then, tap on the Save button. After this, go to the Products tab. The menu here contains physical products, coupons, courses, orders, and communities. Open them one by one. Once you go to coupons, click on create. 
Next, provide coupon name and coupon code. Also, set the discount type. Here, provide discount amount. After this, set expiration date and limit of use. So tap on the save button. Here you can see your created coupon. Then go to courses. Select add a new course. So filling up the required fields here will let you add a new course. Hit the save button. After this, go to communities. Tap on Create. There you need to fill in the name, domain name and path. Also enable or disable the automatic post approval. In the Sales tab, the menu has Transactions, Subscriptions, Affiliate Invoices and My Affiliate Program. In the end, go to the main dashboard. And that's it. Thanks for watching, I hope it was useful. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to get notified for new videos.